Hey, what is up YouTube? Thank you very much for tuning into my channel, Lando Tech, and boy have I got some interesting news for you. Artificial intelligence has been what everyone has been talking about for the last few years. It can do anything from create lifelike images, mimic your voice, or act as a virtual assistant. Even though many AI programs have been created, the one that captivates the world's attention the most is ChatGPT. It's an advanced AI language model created by OpenAI that allows users to type conversational queries into a prompt and receive a lifelike response back. ChatGPT has only been available as a website for the longest time, but last month, in June 2023, they finally released an app, but only for iOS, so Android users are still out of luck. Or are they? In this video, I'm going to show Android users how to get ChatGPT 3.5 to appear on their Android home screen as if it were an app. And I'll also introduce you to a free GPT-4 based app. To get ChatGPT to appear on your home screen like an app, we'll start off by opening Google Chrome. Next, navigate to chat.openai.com. If you don't already have one, you're going to need to create an account for yourself by tapping the sign up button. It's absolutely free to sign up and use ChatGPT 3.5. If you do already have an account, tap the login button and sign yourself in. Once you're in, tap the three dots at the top right corner of Chrome. Tap Add to Home Screen, then tap Add. You'll now see a link to the ChatGPT website appear on the home screen of your phone. You can use this link just like you would use any app. Tap on it and you'll have ChatGPT at your fingertips ready to go. Now this method allows you to use GPT 3.5 for free. But that's so 2022 because this year GPT 4 came out. But it cost $20 a month to use. However, I'm going to show you an app that allows you to use it for free. And this app is none other than then the infamous Microsoft Bing. Microsoft partnered with OpenAI and supercharged Bing by including GPT-4 features. To get it, simply head over to the Google Play Store and download Bing. Once you're in, you can have conversations with it just like ChatGPT. One major difference is Bing pulls some of its content from the internet, but ChatGPT is already preloaded with a giant database of info and doesn't have to scour the net to fulfill your query. This makes the experience with Bing a little clunkier and slower, but it does increase your chances of getting the most up-to-date information. Another big difference is Bing can also work with images, but ChatGPT 3.5 can't. So when I take a picture of something and ask Bing what it is, it gives me a very accurate description. You can also tell Bing what you want it to draw a picture of and it does a very good job of fulfilling your request. There you have it, you now have two different ways to get GPT on your Android phone free of charge. Thank you very much for watching my video guys. If you found this helpful, please click the like button. If you want to see more videos like this, subscribe by clicking my logo at the bottom right of this video. Don't forget to click the notification bell to be notified when I drop a new video.